Hi, and welcome to Psychology Statistics. My name is Ryan Schertz, and I'll be your instructor and tour guide as we look at different statistical analyses in psychology. Um, this YouTube uh, channel is going to focus on a few different things. Uh, the major thing we're going to focus on is how to do uh, hand computations for psychological statistics. Uh, there's a reason why we sort of do hand computation still, even though we have a computer program that can easily do it for us, SPSS. The reason why we do it is so that it gives us a better understanding of how the statistic works, where the numbers come from, and so on. So as I'm sort of going over this material, some of it's going to be abstract, theoretical sort of uh, information, and some of it is going to be just number crunching, algebra, that sort of thing. The major things to think about aren't just memorizing formulas and things like that. You can do that if you want to. But the major thing that I want you to focus on is what statistics are, when to use what statistic, in other words, picking the right statistic for your research question or for whatever your purpose is, um, and how to interpret different statistical results. So we're going to go through all of those different things, starting in the beginning, and we'll go probably... Uh, all the way through most of the basic statistics that you would learn in a college undergraduate class. So, um, before we sort of go on any further, just let me say thank you for um, subscribing to the YouTube channel and, and taking part in our, in our little course. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.